So, if I had one wish in life, it changes all the time. So I have like a million wishes, but none, but still, just if there was one, it would be for everybody tomorrow to wake up in the place of the person they judge the most, um, to wake up in their, their shoes. A lot of billies and jeans, a lot of white boys and um, chicks who think that black people are all complaining about their situation, trying to make excuses and not do anything with themselves, not work, not do this and that, and never take into account the years that they put in believing they were equal, putting in application after application seeing certain friends of theirs getting hired and fired at 10, 12 jobs before they could get hired or fired at one. Switch the place. I think everything would flip on the flip side and white people would wake up and it'd be one of those like freak accident, real shitty days to where it felt like they were getting picked on and bullied and nothing was going their way and just one of those never ending days. But every day. And then the same thing, and then black folks, you know how we, well, black, brown, Americans, Catholics, Christians, well, different variations of, we will work our asses off, bust our asses to take care of our kids, do everything we can, be broke as shit, find five dollars in the laundry that we earned with our hard ass fucking work and under, got underpaid for and give all glory to white Jesus and then wonder why the hell all of us have issues with our self esteem and have the nerve to have this false pride that we throw in people's faces to try to shame them out of the shameful way they're honest with us. That's so why all of us are not unhealthy. We don't have diabetes. We don't have high blood pressure. We are sexy and thick. And we don't have to go put money on our son's books. We don't have to go see our daughter give birth to a child knowing this father is going to leave soon or doesn't claim them or isn't the first we say she is independent and strong like her mama she doesn't take shit from no man and she she leaves she takes she don't have to take that shit or everybody's left her and she's finally figured out how to manage and she's strong now. We have ways in America of not sugarcoating, but lying to ourselves in a way that is so freaking adorable that we actually think it sounds cute and other people would ever believe this stupid shit. I have never, ever, ever in life, ever, ever, met a woman who's smaller than she once was that would agree that she looks better then than now, even if she did call herself sexy and thick back then. That could be mistaken. I don't know. But whatever. People have this fucked up way of treating a lot of people who are honest and blunt in a really fucked up way. And they treat the people who sugarcoat shit while they stab them in the back like freaking angels. And that's where a lot of our blame actually comes in when it comes to the things that happen to us, the bad things that happen to minorities. We will sit there and let people sugarcoat shit. And we will sit there and try to get somebody fired or lose their job over saying nigger while praising a half C who is on the same tab same payroll as the people who are helping kill us. And then we'll say, no, he's different. 
because a lot of us, we will go out of our way to look for excuses, facts, and omissions and justifications for any and everything to fit our view. And it's why we're all so freaking ignorant and stupid today. We're so quick to pop up and call names and threaten people and do dumb shit to people over words that nothing ever fucking gets done. Every once in a while, people will be lenient and say, up, oh, mm, okay, go ahead and let the nigger lover marry this dude and have these little bastard babies and throw them out into the, to the world to have to deal with no daddy once we arrest that motherfucker. Or once mommy's single and doesn't know which brush is what and which rubber band goes where. Um, we don't put a lot of thought into the, the choices that will alter our life or the people who have the potential to fuck our life off over up. But we know everything about everybody when they say a certain thing a certain way, look a certain way, do a certain thing. I have no clue how fucked up and retarded we are. All of us, humans, stupid, stupid, stupid humans. <coughs> we talk so much shit about Muslims here and these terrorists. And we're patriots who did the same shit last generation. So fucking pathetic. And it's, it's embarrassing, it's shameful, and it's... Ugh. But it's the only freaking justification I have for how freaking far behind I am mentally. Like, oh my gosh, and me. Like, I have, like, on paper. Other than, like, trade school and then the, well, the associate, it, the it, gen, a degree in nothing, general education. I have an eighth grade education level, a southern minority education. There's no reason that grown men with white people education or wealthy people education should be as ignorant as they are today. Makes no sense. It's like it's it's one of those things like walking in an alley and you see an old lady getting robbed and it's just you and there's two guys and they have a gun and a knife. So you're like, if I keep walking... She doesn't have to see me. They don't have to see me. Nobody has to get hurt. Everything happens, goes as planned, and I'm not to blame. That's basically the average white person in America. The average wannabe white Latino in America. The average wannabe light bright black Tomish American. It's so pathetic and sick and disgusting that I want to just get up and run away and leave but then I'm like oh my gosh what about the survivors what about the few people who can stand it who have a fucking chance and I'm like dude I gotta go back for all like four of them ugh so fucking pathetic I fucking hate people humans are so stupid and this first man shit I get it I get the false pride thing I get this whole gay pride and all this stuff after you get beat and beat and beat and pounded and pounded and bounded and kicked and kicked and kicked you find this love for yourself that nobody would understand unless they could really understand but what the fuck is a goddamn first man who is the first man homo what what do you know how many freaking species are in just this genome this family this tree just in the last like I don't know, a million or two years? Come on, this first man. Which man, which, who, which one? Which one is not really human and which one's human enough? Which one's not really Christian? Which one's Christian enough? Which one's not really black enough? Which one's not really, oh! None of y'all see your fucking similarities and you're off the problem. Oh, I hate people so much. This is why I don't claim human. I don't claim European. I don't claim human. Because that is the most shameful fucking shit that I know of. The most shameful fucking shame. Ugh. I fucking hate you.